even this one, you are not here. You see, that second breath that entered into you gives you access to possibilities beyond your mind. And as long as you still do contrast and comparison of those days, you are, you don't, you are, you are still knocking on the door of this new possibility. I know you are not with me. Let me show you some things about this matter, this new level. Romans chapter 6. Let's, 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 I don't know how to open your heart. Um, most of us are living, have you ever, you, how many of you remember Benz regular? The 1982 model of Benz. Regular. Most of you are still the 1986 model of yourself. <laughs> He calls it new. If any man be in Christ, it's a new creation. The word creation, there is the same word for the scientific meaning of species. It's a new species. Citrus is orange. One species of orange is citrus paradisi. It's a species. Another species is citrus limon. It's a species. Another species is citrus orenlifolia. Citrus nobilis. Do you understand? We are not the same. That's what I'm telling you. I am, I am a different species. The dimensions of God that can operate, even if you pray and fast, you will not be exactly like me because I'm a different. It's a new creation. You will need to study it the way scientists are studying fishes. You need to study yourself. You must be a good student of your progression in God because it's a new species. It's a new species. Most of you have not found yourself in your ecosystem. You are trying to behave like your pastor. You are trying to. Hey. <laughs> I don't know how. The Lord will help us. As the Father has sent me. You will notice that in the life of Jesus, everything he did, he, 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 he gives credit to his Father. He said, as a Father, what I see the Father do, you notice that? Oh, you have not noticed that. Okay. He said, the fucking are the dead. And give it life to them. Even so, the son, in the, it's the same way the son operates. Because when the father was sending him, he breathed himself into the son as the son's life. So Jesus lived the father. And that was why. When they asked Jesus, show us the father, I say, you are, you are wrong. The only platform the father has for expression is me. So, where are you looking for him? When you heard me speak, those words were not mine. They belong to the father. He said, my doctrine is not mine. My teaching, it precipitates from the essence of the father. It is the father you were hearing. I was just a mere platform. So, when he breathed on us, what he was saying is that I am now your life. You will cease to live yourself. That self, which was the hallmark of the civilization of the fallen man, it will be illegal for you to manifest self because it will be a wrong picture. Oh, you are not with me. Your life in the spirit is a story that God is telling from heaven. So if you walk in the spirit, the story is going to be consistent. When you move into the flesh, the story ends. Paul says that we are supposed to be living epistles. There is something God is writing through your life to the nations of the world. You are like a letter, a postcode. Oh, you are still not here. Do you realize that it was the principle of substitution that was used to procure your salvation? And do you know the implication? It means Jesus came, took your place in judgment. So you now, the only place left for you is to take his place in life. So if you are born again and you are still living you, it's an abomination. 
it, that's why it is called a new creation. You see, oh my God, God will need to renew your mind so that you'll know that that old man that was a boxer, he no longer exists. This one now, you don't know this man. You will need to live accurately with the spirit before you begin to understand yourself. Oh, you're not with me. You're not with me. You're not with me. So, you, you, so most of us have not lived in the layer of the second breath. You have not found yourself in Christ. You don't know your identity. And when I talk about your identity, I'm not talking about knowing it in doctrine. Because we can do a lecture on your identity in doctrine. That is just to give you it's a starting material. You will need to put on, giddle your loins and go for an adventure with the Holy Ghost. And then you will now begin, he will begin to unpack you. I remember when the only ability I had was the ability of a teacher. So I used to teach. People loved my teaching. Oh my God. I have not lost that ability, even till today. But a time came. He said, I, didn't, I have not called you to be a teacher. You are liking this thing too much. Then he opened something else. It was still me. Do you understand? Yes. Pastor, when you were two years old, was it not Isaac or Dame? Then you became 12 years old. Did your name change? It was still Isaac or Dame. Now it is still. Do you understand it? As you journey in this new creation, you will be, things will be unpacking. Don't think you know you until. So how much of you in Christ have you experienced? Can you give yourself a name in Christ? What are you? Have you found out the energies that has been made available to make you who you were ordained to be? Have you found out? I, I'm beginning to understand my own a little now. Do you understand it? Because if you are not walking accurately in the spirit, walking accurately with the Lord, walking under his government, walking under his authority, you will never know you until you aspire. God will need to add what you were supposed to do to what your son was supposed to do. Your son will become overburdened because you didn't leave your own. So yeah. That's why we are in trouble in this generation. For many years, prophets were lying to people and telling them, hey, who? One, one in Kumasi predicted a match. The thing came out wrong. He even staked his calling on it. And then the next day he was still talking. Me, I will go and leave. I will just go and leave. It's one of those resources that has beach. I'll just sit there and be thinking of my life. <laughs> Strange people, deceiving people around. The work of a preacher is not to make, is not my work job is not to make you follow me. It's to show you the package that Jesus has put inside of you. If you find it, if you ever find it, oh man, then you will realize that the things you are looking for is not lost. Some of you, you are looking for money. Find that man. Find him. It's a new creation. When you find that, money will navigate in the direction of that man. But as long as that man is not known and you are just operating from the soul, Satan will master you. Your life has no story. You are not a living epistle. You are, a, you are history manifesting. You are an accident looking for a place to happen. Let the Lord give you understanding. So when I started the journey, the first grace I found was the grace of teaching. So I began to like studying the Bible. And he pushed me. Because he will show me one or two things and encourage me to study more. Because in my own, where I am in Christ is in the faculty of knowledge. Do you understand that? It's if you know yourself, you will not compete with anybody. It's because you don't know yourself that you are envious of another pastor. That, hey! 4,000 people viewed him. Ah, that's where I entered into trouble. We did something. A hundred thousand people reacted. And then a bishop in my city did something, it was only four. (laughs) 
Now, how am I responsible? Can someone tell me how I'm responsible for that? How is it? He said, oh, Jesus. You see, the man of the flesh will always point to something that is his problem. He will never know that he is the 1986 model of himself. That is his himself. He has not yielded for Christ enough. So Christ has nothing to show in your life. He has nothing to advertise. Because you have not found yourself. For if any man be in Christ. This is the stuff. I'm a stammerer. Till tomorrow. But I found the grace that works in the corridor I was domiciled. It's a grace to teach, to unravel, to discover. Yes. It was when I sat here that I knew what to preach. In terms of study, I've studied the Bible for so long, for, for 30 something years. I've been a scholar in scripture. So what to say is not difficult, but what God is saying is what is hard. So I, I was crying. And, and you see, this, my brother, God uses him to help me. Because when he is ministering, my limitations will go. He's like Elijah, he's a bringer of rain. <laughs> so I was so comfortable when I knew you also invited him. I said, if I can't find where God is when this man starts. So he has found himself. So I don't need to be him. I don't need to come and start singing. My question to you tonight is, who are you? And what do you say of yourself? That was the question that sent to John the Baptist. Who are you? And I assure you, if you can't find yourself in Isaiah, in Jeremiah, you don't exist. I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. That, that's who I am. The voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his path straight. For every valley shall be elevated. Every mountain shall be humbled. Oh, the stones will be gathered out so that all eyes will see the salvation of God. So I knew who I am. I found myself. The Holy Ghost will begin to unpack you. He will begin to unpack you. It will take you about 10 years of consistently working with God for you to know your identity. Your identity is rooted in the oppression and the power of the second breath. For as the Father sent me, so send I. 